we're dealing with some high winds that's okay. causing some rough surf. Not a great day to head out on the beach or head out on the water uh, because of those strong winds. Now, it is uh, raining in Key West, a little bit gloomy, but it is not raining everywhere. So let's talk about where it is, and we're going to zoom in to Key West. There's that band of showers. It was quite heavy uh, just moments ago. It's starting to taper off a little bit, but there's still some rain on the backside of this band and a few more showers to the south of the lower keys moving towards the west. We do have some light showers passing through Tavernier Key Largo right now. And then in Miami Dade, things have shaped up to be a little bit drier at this moment. There is one little isolated shower just offshore west of North Bay Village. Now, Broward has been quiet for much of the morning hours, but not so quiet when it comes to those wind speeds. It's windy in Broward, 15 miles per hour. We've seen wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour at a Pompano Beach, so hold on to your hats. And also, if you're going to take the rain gear, I suggest a raincoat, maybe not an umbrella. Now, temperatures warming up into the mid-70s, 77, though, in Marathon. So here's a look at the moisture forecast. We do have these areas areas of moisture that are moving along that swift east breeze. And so this is what's helping to provide for those quick moving light showers. Sometimes they get heavy, but they're small. Now, as we head into the start of the week, we do expect a few more showers to continue. But then by Wednesday, a front moves into Florida over central Florida early Wednesday. And then we get a surge of moisture from the Caribbean enough to cause heavier downpours, maybe some thunderstorms for us as this front passes through midweek. Highs today, 79 degrees, gusty at times. East wind, 15 to 20 miles per hour. And there is a small craft advisory that remains in effect for today. Those bays are choppy seas up to eight feet at times. I will say this, by tomorrow, it's not going to be as breezy. So I expect the seas to become a little better to improve by tomorrow. Showers increase Tuesday out ahead of that front. That front moves in Wednesday. It's going to bring us some gusty showers. Then sunshine returns on Thursday.